A bowl of flaming rice. A pork chop big enough to feed a family. More than 50 rums behind the bar. And a celebrity chef running the kitchen. Ahora hay ceviche de pescado. Oh, thank you. At La Fabrica Central, the flavors are bold, the atmosphere is beautiful, and the party is always on. Located in Central Square, Cambridge, La Fabrica is the newest restaurant from Hector and Nivia Pina. This husband and wife team already own three restaurants in Boston, Merengue, where they serve Dominican food, The Gigantes, specializing in Puerto Rican fare, and Doña Habana, offering up Cuban cuisine. But here at La Fabrica, all of those flavors are all under one roof. What we wanted to do in this restaurant is to embrace all the Caribbean islands. We wanted to have a little bit of Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, but as well as some other uh, places from the Caribbean, like Jamaica. So we wanted to incorporate all the flavors that we all share and actually celebrate the culture in the Caribbean and the cuisine as well. When it came time to find a chef to cook all those Caribbean dishes, Nivia actually turned to her television. Hola, soy Giovanna Heike, chef de profesión, pero cocinar, esa es mi pasión. Giovanna Heike is known as the Julia Child of Puerto Rico, where she cooked on television for decades, demonstrating recipes that made making dinner a little bit easier. Well, I started really cooking for home cooks and they would be out of the kitchen in 35 minutes. Our chef is uh, someone that I grew up watching and I remember watching her at lunch and my mom writing her recipes. So for me, it was very special when I finally got to meet her because in Puerto Rico, she is a legacy. And I love to bring her here. And anyone that is around my generation, it's like, oh, wow, Giovanna is here at, at La Fabrica. Of course, customers come to La Fabrica for the food, but the first thing they notice here is the atmosphere. There's live music and a long bar as soon as you walk in, and a dining room designed to make you feel like you're sitting in a sugarcane field, complete with sugar plants and giant pictures depicting how those sweet stalks are turned into rum. If you look at the murals, they start in the field, people picking up the sugar cane, and then the transfer to the distillery, all the way to the barrels, and then the final product that's at your table. And those those beautiful pictures were taken by Hector himself. I took the pictures, that's my hobby. I took a trip to the Dominican Republic and I had a lot of fun taking those pictures. Your fun here should start with a glass of rum, followed by some of La Fabrica's tempting appetizers, like empanadas stuffed with everything from shredded chicken to grilled skirt steak to all the ingredients of a classic Cubano. It's a Cuban sandwich inside an empanada, which is wonderful because the heat kind of like melts the Swiss cheese, so the pickle is just right there in a perfect temperature. When you get a bite, it's just like having a Cuban sandwich. Another wrap you can't miss is the melted gouda with shredded chicken. We melt it right to perfection and then we use flame on top of it so when it gets to the table, it's completely coated and brown. And then when you eat it, it's just like gooey cheese and perfect chicken stew made the Caribbean way. Entrees at La Fabrica are awesome. Seafood fans could choose the lobster tail bathed in rum sauce and served atop a mashed yucca patty, or the whole red snapper topped with coconut sauce. But for a fiery feast you absolutely need to experience, order the arroz con mariscos, a bowl of seafood studded rice that's set ablaze at your table. We start cooking all the seafood at the same time with butter, a little bit of sofrito, then we add a little bit of rum, so it gives it a little bit of Umph, and then it's when we add the rice, sweet peas, roasted peppers, we mix it all and we serve it. And at the table, they'll give you just a little bit of flame with that rum just to higher up all those flavors. Meat eaters have plenty of options as well, from a ribeye to a burger to jerk chicken. But for something absolutely over the top, check out the two and a half pound Puerto Rican style pork chop. You get the pork chop itself, which is the juicy meat, but then attached to it, it's also the the belly, which is the fatty part. And people love that because it's a combination of crunchiness, fatty, and meat. If you have any room for dessert, there are lots of great choices, especially the impossibly creamy flan. Flan should really stay in your mouth for a little while. That's how creamy it is. You should really eat it very, very slowly. Though I have friends that eat it in two seconds. And for this celebrity chef, the real star of the show at La Fabrica are the ingredients she uses to share her passion for Caribbean cooking with her customers. I love when I get an ingredient and all the possibilities of what I can do with it. It's just getting the 
those ingredients into a pot and then serving it to people that are going to enjoy it. That's why I wake up every morning and come to this kitchen just happy to cook.